So in today's tutorial, we're going to go over the Shopify app proxy. I have the Shopify documentation right here for the ones that want to learn more about the proxy. Just go to the Shopify official documentation and then you can find this article here. But yeah, for the ones of you that want just a short introduction, a proxy is just going to be interacting as a middleman between our client and our server. I have this graph right here. So what we're going to do today, we're going to create a team extension. We're going to create a custom application and then we're going to do a request and our Shopify store is going to be acting as the proxy. The main reason for this is because as Shopify developers, our job is to keep our Shopify APIs keys secure. So if for any reason you need your team app extensions to have a communication with your app, instead of having a direct communication between the two of them, you're going to have Shopify making the authentication so your API keys are going to be secure. That's pretty much it. I'm going to create a Remix application. I'm going to set up the endpoint keys and I'm going to show you all this right now so we can start. Okay, guys. So let's just create a new Shopify application. I'm here inside my terminal. So I'm just going to copy and paste this command. We're going to name our application proxy YouTube. So we can start with Remix. Let's use TypeScript for the project. And then we have to wait until all the dependencies are installed. So let's just cut the tutorial here. So everything's ready here. Let's navigate inside the project. And for the first thing, let me just make sure I'm here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change one scope because some of you requested me, how do you change scopes? Recently Shopify updated their CLI. So we have to do it a little different. So let's just go here. So inside here, I'm just going to go to insert mode and I'm going to add these read products. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's save the file. So let me clear the terminal right here. And then you have to run this command npm run uh, deploy. And then you're going to push all your changes to your Shopify partners. And then you're going to update your scopes. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Since we haven't created the application, it's going to ask me to create a new application. So let's just go ahead. Let's type proxy YouTube. And then we're going to have to wait. Yeah, we can release this as a new application and that's pretty much it. That's ready. So now let me clear npm run dev and we're going to install the application in our store now. So let's just wait for these changes and we're going to have to link the application with the Shopify partner file. So no connect as an application, this one proxy YouTube. And we're going to check our scopes right now. So let me use my test YouTube store. And we have a little message here. This is pretty much what I told you. This is how you update your scopes now. So let me just minimize these. We have to copy and paste this link first. And we're going to see our store. So give me one second. Go here. Let me go to Brave here. And copy and paste this part. And this is my Shopify partners. Let me update so we can see our application. So it's this one right here. We haven't installed the application yet. So let me install the app. We have to wait. Okay, perfect. The application is installed. Let me go back to partners and let me refresh this part because we want to see our application installed and I want to see the scopes. So let me go to here, proxy YouTube. And you check your scopes in API access if I'm correct. You have to scroll down here and then you're going to see your right products and then your grid products. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And go to configurations. And this is where we are going to set up our app proxy. Here is where you have to configure your soup pad and then your proxy URL. So yeah, we can do that in a second. Let me minimize my browser and I'm going to stop the server because I want to create the team app extension. So, so type npm run generate extension and we have to pick between our extensions okay and i'm going to show you all the things i learned when i was preparing for this tutorial so it's this one right here online store team up extension so the name we're gonna call it um proxy button the extension is ready so we can restore our server so npn run dev and i'm going to open a new window right here because I want to go and navigate through my extension. Okay. And I think my application break because I don't have Ruby three. So I just have to update this part. So RBNB init. I'm going to copy and paste this part. And then I have to check out what version do I have? I think I have, I don't remember my versions. I have the 3.14. That's going to be enough. So Airbnb local and 3.1.4. And we can try this again, npm run dev. And yes, then we're good to go. 
So let's go here to our extension. So I'm going to open Beam. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to go to our extension and I'm going to create a button to test our app proxy. So right here, I'm just going to select everything. Let's start by deleting this part. And let's start by creating a head HTML tag. I'm going to create a body as well. And also we're going to need a script tag. And this is where we are going to put our function, right? Inside here, I'm going to create a button. And this is going to be the button that we're going to use to test on click. And the function is going to be called a uh, test proxy. So test proxy and we can put the function right here. Now let's go to our script tag function test proxy curly braces here. So we're going to return a new promise resolve and a reject. And right here, let's open our fetch function. We are going to inject our URL. I'm going to do it in a second. So first, we're going to need an object here and we can pass the method. So the method is going to be a post method. So let's put a post right here. I highly recommend that you put the redirect here because you can get redirected to the authentication URL. So just put here and put manual. So now let's continue the promise. So then if we have a response, we're going to do certain actions. So response. Well, I'm just going to console log the response. You can make sure it's from the server. After that, let's grab the data that we're going to get from the server. So that then we're going to have the data right here. And, and here we're just going to resolve the data. Resolve. In case something goes wrong, we're going to catch our errors right here in our promise. So right here, let me just catch any error. And we're going to have our reject function. I'm going to close my catch and we have to close our function as well. So let's close this function and then close the main function. And then we have to close our promise. So after we close, after we close the cache, let's close the promise. And that's going to be pretty much what we're going to do. I'm going to pass the URL in a second so we can save the files. Okay, sweet. So now that we're done here, let's just go back and I have to go to my application now. And I'm going to go to my routes. And first we have to create a new route. So let's just go below here and we can create this link. And let's create this link application the proxy proxy and point. Okay, so that's going to be pretty much it right here. So let me just save the file and we're going to exit and I'm going to go to my routes. Okay, it's this one actually. So, okay, so let's go ahead and create the proxy endpoint. Okay, so inside here, let's create our action function. So let's create a constant action action is going to be of the type action functions. We're going to have a request object here, close it. And first let's put a console log so we can make sure we are hitting these endpoints. So let's put a console log right here. So, okay. So we're going to need a couple of imports. First, the authenticate that's going to come from the Shopify server. We're going to need also the action function. Okay. So now let's call the object. So await authenticate. So let's type public here and then it's going to call our app proxy which is going to take the request. Okay, so, so now we have to destructure this and we're gonna grab the session. So const, let's destructure this object and we're gonna grab the session. Now I'm just gonna make a really quick check. If we have a session, we're going to just console log the session so we can see the response of the request in the console. So console the log session. And if there's nothing, let's just return null here. So Remix doesn't say anything. Okay, now we need to create the component. So let me name it proxy and it's gonna be an our function. So that's it. And let's have it return return a page from Polaris. So now we have to export this page. So export default. Okay, guys, so we're done here. So I'm pretty much just going to save this file and I'm going to quit uh, this part right here. And I think I have to quit Beam. So now, so now let me show you something. Our Remix application, it's running in this URL. And if you go right here to Shopify Partners, you're going to see that your actual application is this one. So when we set up the proxy, you have to make sure you set up where your application is running. So in this proxy URL, this is where you have to put. But for some reason, when I was testing this application, let me just expand my window. Whenever I use this endpoint, the application request doesn't work. It goes somewhere else or sometimes it gets rejected by the server. And I came up with a solution for this problem in order to test this proxy. So so I'm going to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the server right here and I'm going to create another extension. So npm run generate extension 
and we're gonna create just a checkout extension because I wanna show you what's going to happen right now. What the extension is going to do if you create this one, this checkout UI extension, let's just name it checkout, let's just choose TypeScript. So, okay, it's ready, so we can run the application again, so npm run dev, and what's going to happen now, it's very interesting, you're gonna get another URL, you're not gonna get the default URL that Shopify provides to you. This time, we're gonna get this try cloud for URL, so our application is going to take requests inside this URL. So this is what you have to do in order to use proxy requests. So I'm just going to copy it and I'm gonna go back to my Shopify partners. I'm going to paste it right here. Let me expand my window so you guys have a better visual. And my application, this is my application URL. My application endpoint is in app for Remix and the URL was proxy if i'm correct yeah it's proxy and now the soup pad this is gonna be the url for shopify so let's just name it proxy test and we can save and we can go ahead and save and release this part and i just want to go back to my shopify app store because i haven't test my widgets here so let me go to my online store and i want to make sure my button is working we have to set this up before we do anything so let me go to sections i'm gonna go here proxy YouTube and it's this one right yeah it's this one so let's just go right here let's let me get rid of this other one and I'm going to put it right here on the top mm, this is good test proxy let's save the changes so the first thing that we have to do is set up our proxy URL right here in our fetch function. So which is our proxy or store? So we are basically going to need our store uh, URL. So let me go back to my browser right here and not here. So I'll just let's go here to live. And we're gonna have to grab this part. Or if you want to see it from other side, let me just show you one trick here. You go to settings in your app store admin and you go to apps. And I wanna show you something interesting too. So this is our application proxy YouTube is this one right here. So this is your proxy URL. So you have to do your request from your team app extension to this endpoint and this endpoint and this endpoint is going to make your request to your application, right? So it's going to be in the middle basically. So let me just copy and paste. And you're gonna notice that my endpoint right here is different. It has a one here. And this is because I was testing before this tutorial and I have a endpoint in another application that's also called proxy test. That's why Shopify knows is this and add this one right here but that's basically it that's why maybe you're wondering why my endpoint is different than my endpoint right here so just because i was testing before so nothing weird here so this is basically where we have to do our request okay guys so let's just save changes here and we're gonna have to restore my server and since i'm going to restore my server again i'm going to get another url from cloudflare and we're gonna have to change that url again in the proxy admin okay so this is our new url our application is going to be living right here so we have to change this url in the admin so let's copy and paste it let's minimize the code and we're gonna test our button right now so this was our before or previous url so let's just switch it instead for this one let's save changes okay let's wait a little bit bah changes are saved let me make sure my application it's running everything is running and i had a typo right here when i, I noticed when i open vs code make sure you have your function like this and yeah that's pretty much it let me make sure everything is good here as well and let's go back to our store and let's test the endpoint so i'll minimize everything here i'm gonna go to my let's restart everything here let's close let's expand the browser let's go to the online store I have to go here to customize view and this is my button my text proxy button so I'm going to open my tools my inspect tool so I want to see the console whenever I do the request and when I click the button you're gonna see the response from you're gonna see my response from my server and if I go to my server to BS code I want to show you Let's expand the terminal right here. And you're gonna see here a proxy is the same thing I have. Hmm. 
it's the same th it's the same thing I have right here and you're gonna see how I'm printing the session so this is the session that you need in order to be authenticated and make requests to the Shopify APIs so yes that's amazing our practice is working and you can see my access scope right here my scope you can see the name of my store my application is working so I think the next thing that we have to do I'm going to show you how after the authentication happens we're gonna make a request to our admin APIs cons response is going to be equal to you can grab the admin from here so you can grab your admin here so let's type await admin the GraphQL so let me copy and paste my mutation because I'm going to create a product now here I have to pass the variables so let me type variables type an object here my input is going to be a title let's put a title and the title is going to be YouTube test YouTube oops YouTube uh, test product okay that's going to be the name of the product that we're going to send let's console the log the response that we're gonna grab so response okay this can be inside let me just okay there you go this can be inside this if statement i'm sorry about that so you just have to make sure this so you tell typescript is not going to be null and that's it and we're going to send the response right here as a json so re response json and here i just remix there you go so let's save the changes we're not going to need this return null here so let me see if my changes are reflecting in my server let's scroll down right here yeah, everything's reflecting so let's go back to the front end and i'm going to restart the application not restart the application but i'm going to just close this part because sometimes it doesn't work let's refresh this part okay so refresh let's open back our store let me open the developer tools basically it's going to happen is we're gonna see that we create a product from our team store which is pretty cool so let's just send a response boom there you go that's the response I think everything went right so let's go back to the server and then we're gonna see the graphql response hopefully it work and we have a big as response right here so let's see what happened here i think everything went right i'm gonna check the store right now so yeah i think it was a successful we're gonna see this the product in our store right now but yeah let's go back and test everything is correct let me go here Let's go to products. And it's this one right here, YouTube test product. You can see it and yes. So as you guys see, this is the product that we created using the team extension, which is pretty cool. So yes, everything was successful. Let me go back and see what can, what, what can we see from the answer from the, from the request. So you can see that we hit the app proxy right here then we have the we're printing the session and then we have the graphql response that we created a new product and it's a 200 response and that was the tutorial for today guys thank you so much for watching have a great day guys